People sometimes ask, what do you like to photograph? For years, the only answer I could come up with was, whatever catches my eye. This seemed embarrassingly shallow and lazy, but it turns out there's more to what catches our eye than meets the eye. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Until recently, I thought most of the brain's energy and activity was dedicated to conscious thought and a small part to subconscious memories and beliefs. And then I learned that 90% of the brain is dedicated to non-conscious activity. More importantly, the subconscious mind has very strong opinions about what is eye-catching, not only visually, but emotionally. I've slowly come to understand that what catches my eye is the exact opposite of shallow and lazy. Almost all of my favorite images are, to me anyway, visually appealing and have a deeper emotional or intellectual meaning. Figuring out why my subconscious mind found them so captivating to begin with is hard and can take years. This photo is a perfect example of this process. I was wandering the streets of a small town outside Acadia National Park early one morning in 2010 when this weathered window with the cracked pots and scraggly petunias caught my attention. Three years later, I figured out that I had lots of pictures of dirty, cluttered, and broken windows, why I liked them so much, and the Back Windows series was born. Front windows are clean, tidy, decorative, and welcoming. Back windows are dirty, cluttered, often barred or broken and out of sight. Most people try to ignore or assume they can hide their back windows, but they are wrong. If you look closely, back windows are often in plain sight. And like our own concealed thoughts and feelings, they are often far more interesting and revealing. So now I know, keeping an open mind and shooting whatever catches my eye is nothing to be embarrassed about.